you're, you're making the bank available to people. How are you actually changing <coughs> the way the bank itself operates? The people who work for us truly believe in advancing a set of progressive causes. I, I think one of the most innovative things that we did is, is we looked at the situation that bank workers in this country mm -hmm. face. And it's a, it's a dirty little secret that in, in the wealthiest, most successful industry in the country, the financial services industry, you have an army of low-wage workers. Average, average wage for a bank teller in this country is a little more than $12 an hour. There's a sea of security guards and food service workers and back office workers who, who, who make uh, a little more than minimum wage. We raise our minimum wage to $15 an hour. We, we indexed it so it would go up every year, and we've challenged the rest of the industry to do the same. Well, that really is a pretty dirty secret, this enormously wealthy industry. What proportion of your tellers did you find out were on public assistance? Well, in, in, in New York State, 40 per, about 40 percent of bank tellers are on some form of public assistance. So you were the first bank to raise the minimum wage across the board. You've also established this list of priorities. I think you're calling them principles. We should embrace economic justice and we should stand up for things like fair wages, not just for bank employees, but employees all across the country. And we should be a loud, progressive business voice calling on progressive policies like that. We need to embrace transparency. We should be open in terms of how we make money and be open to sharing a portion of our profits with the kinds of causes that we believe in. And most importantly, and I think not to be forgotten, one of those principles is that regulation is not the enemy. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people out there clamoring that there are too many regulations inhibiting the banking industry. But we saw what happened when regulation wasn't strong and we need to make sure yeah. that we have good consumer protections and good ways to keep the banking system safe and sound for future generations.